All right, before we start today's show, I got to tell you about this incredible new podcast that is not on Gas Digital. It's called Quantum Week. It's a podcast where they take a random week and review the popular movies and music from that time. If you guys like nostalgia, if you like comedy podcasts, if you guys are big movie and music fans, this is a great listen. It really is. They've covered movies like Top Gun, Fight Club, Pulp Fiction, as well as songs by The Black Keys and Eminem. These guys are big fans of the Gas Digital Network and reach out to us and see if we can help expose them to some of our audience. And they really are to a really really great group of guys that do a great show they might love or hate your favorite movie but unlike some other pop culture podcasts they're always going to be honest so right now you can download and subscribe to quantum week on apple podcasts spotify or anywhere that you download podcasts so go do it right now quantum week everywhere you find pods fill her up you're listening to the gas digital network It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez. We're with Miles Bank, Real Ass Dude, Ultimate Minority, Joan Jett of Comedy. I got a lot of names. International Superstar, Zach D'Amico. How you doing, buddy? He's funny. He's a psycho. He's a real ass dude. I was double teaming this chick with her husband. Now he's selling coke in heaven. Are you fucking ready, motherfuckers? It's the only real podcast left out there. And we're back. It's the Real Ass Podcast. It's a Wednesday. It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez. Real Ass Dude. Ultimate Minority. Common Denominator in the house. International Superstar, Zach Amico. I'm look, the other boy. You look like uh, like a, a giant pile of bubble gum today. Like, you remember in, uh, what was that? Wild and Crazy Kids? Mm-hmm. Remember Nickelodeon? Yeah. One of the challenges was to just chew as much bubble gum as possible and, and create a giant pile of it. Pull this up if you guys can pull up. That was with the other uh, Gooding Jr., right? Was there another Gooding Jr.? Yeah, it was his younger brother. Wasn't he the host? I had no idea. Not Cuba, uh, (laughs) whatever. Puerto Rico Jr. Yeah, Puerto Rico (laughs) Gooding Jr. (laughs) That's good, Karen. I like it. You know what? I like it. Guess who's Guess who's Guess who's We're going to watch the Wild and Crazy Kids on today's show. It's going to be a big theme on today's show. Wild and Crazy Kids. Remember when they used to just take preteens and throw them on television and fucking... In wet t-shirts? In wet t-shirts and pulling gum out of their mouth. I don't hear... Now you got to get them pregnant first. (laughs) I don't hear myself either. Yeah, Karen's got to be a little bit louder. Can we we fix the the technical problems and never have a discussion about it again on air? (laughs) I I have her, Max. She's a little far from the mic. Wow. Don't say it like she's doing that. She's not doing that. She said, imagine it's a penis, (laughs) Karen. Get up in there. I'm, I'm sorry. Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Welcome to the show. Two incredible guests as always. It's Irish Day <laughs> on the podcast. We have two fucking Irish uh, fucking dickheads on the show. Karen hands here. I'm great today. Shut the fuck up. I'm awesome. I'm crushing it. <laughs> I feel like everything is that like a that. Taser? Pull up Ireland and dickheads so people get my joke. <laughs> you just pulled that taser noise out of nowhere, kind of like that, that lady thought a, she was doing. You know what? That was actually a solid joke as well, Karen. There you go. <laughs> Karen Fian is here. Hi, thank you for having me. One time voted the number one podcast guest in the country Ooh. by uh, the, the Autobahn. Autobahn? Autoblow. What's Autoblow? Autoblow.com. Autoblow? You want a blowjob for a robot? <laughs> Autoblow.com is the way to get it. If you want to trade blowjobs for rides, (laughs) autoblow.com. What is the, what am I thinking of? Not the Autobahn. Uh, oh, it's Harabang. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> You're a psycho. I'm like, yeah. Autobahn? Isn't that like a bird museum? I heard it's it like... on the Autobahn. Somebody yelled it out of a car going 120 <laughs> miles an hour. Karen Feehan is the best podcast guest in the world. Karen Feehan's great podcast guest. Those would be two back to back things. Yeah. Would be. The Autobahn is very they, anti-Semitic. They made a <laughs> the Autobahn, you could go as fast as you want and say as many anti-Semitic things as you want. It's a great place. Is wow. it? Where does the Autobahn? It just goes through all through all of Europe. Germany. I yeah, think. Is it just German, Germany? Just no. Germany. Specifically yeah. German. Just freedom oh, I thought it was, the road. I thought it was fucking a European highway. 
No. You he thought it was like Route 66 yeah. for Europe? For I Europe. thought you could drive from fucking France to fucking <laughs> another place in It's Europe. the only uniform German influence they have left from World War II. <laughs> yes. It's Autobahn. They force the road to stay that way. <laughs> How big is the Autobahn? And, you, and there's no speed limit, right? That's the idea? Yeah. I believe so. Pull up some Autobahn footage as well. And then Maybe throw some wild and crazy kids on that highway. Kids. Yeah, throw some kids in the middle of the Autobahn. <laughs> I want the audio from wild and crazy kids while we look at video from Autobahn. <laughs> I feel like you're on mushrooms. Maybe. Also, Mike Cannon's here. What's yeah. up, buddy? What's up, kid? Nobody's ever said you're the best podcast guest. Never. Sorry. You no. ain't Karen. You ain't Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I've won a Razzie for a podcast guest. Ah. Yeah. That's worst, better. Worst. I worst. Most sibilant S. <laughs> <laughs> Gayest. Gayest. Except I heard you bequeathed, bequeathed uh, Ian Notorious while I'm out. Well, Ian's actually a homosexual. True. I don't know. And then he I think he saw it. what worked for Norton, and he's like, I'm going to be the new that. Oh, my God. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't, Ian, I think no he's got a crippling sex addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's a bug chaser. Mm. Yeah. Ian, uh, no, Ian's actually a homosexual, and then it, it makes it, so when I call Ian a faggot, just so you know, it's like, like hate speech. It's vitriolic. It's, yeah, it's gotcha. a real nasty thing. For you, it's like I'm busting your balls. I see. Okay, I'll take that. I Little actually bonus. like that better. I yeah, feel for better Ian, I'm like, that. no, this it should hurt his feelings. <laughs> That's what we're trying to go I'll pass for. You're that busting his balls I'm in busting your mouth. His balls in my mouth. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Press it again. You guys <laughs> I get him. Are both dressed very pastel? <laughs> yep. Yeah, and my headband this. matches History. his sweatshirt. I mean, it yeah. was just the uh, resurrection of our Lord and Savior. So you heard true. it here first, JC. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into. You look today's... like the shitty brother and sister you have to meet when you uh, want to marry a rich girl. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta Hold get on, I gotta us. meet Biff and Muffy. <laughs> we're just the kids dressed the same, yeah. but we're on coke. <laughs> so, what does your dad do? <laughs> so, look, we have a great show planned today. Let's get these plugs out of the motherfucker way. We got to talk about Bernie Madoff. We got to watch Wild and Crazy Kids. There's so much going on. Okay, yeah. Wild and crazy kids. I'm ready. Good. Be uh, ready. Be ready for do it. Do you want me to do my plugs? Or are you going to do yours? I don't know. I'm the lady. Cannon. <laughs> wow. Thank Cannon you. Cannon gets the plugs. Um, I think I have some dates. They're coming in. I don't know. May, June, all that stuff. I'm out in Austin in September. All those are at MikeCannonComedy.com. Check out my YouTube, though. I have a ton of stuff up there. Uh, you know, my special, a bunch of sketches, all that stuff. So Mike Cannon Comedy on YouTube and Irish Goodbye Podcast on this very network. Hell yeah. Karen, um, Zach's going to go next. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Karen, please go ahead. Ladies first. Wow. Thank you. Zach just fucking, what, just fucking smacking me right in the face. Right as I'm trying to host this show like a chauvinist. Here's Zach coming in like chauvinist. a Chauvinist. I, I see what you did there. Dude. <laughs> show The chauvinism show. S-H-O-W-V-I-N-I-Z. Oh, <laughs> I, know, oh, I no. thought you were talking about Derek Chauvin. No. Oh, what? that's about the chauvinism show, but we're all about Derek Chauvin. No, it's hosted by him on this network. <laughs> no, it's my show. It's another show that I'm having. Gomez watches Chauvin? Chauvin. <laughs> Every episode is the same. It's the same video. Dude, sh- dude, he's fucking being chauvinistic. There's a new meaning now. That's where you're kneeling on a black person's head. Oh, my God. That's called being Why chauvinistic. Why did I bring that what? Up? It is. I know. Tis. It's bad. Tis. <laughs> Not good, though. Not Karen, good. go ahead. I'll be at the Dojo of Comedy East with Rich Voss all weekend. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel and listen to my podcast, OnlyFans. And subscribe to my OnlyFans if you want to. I've been slowing down a little bit. Why are you um, slowing down? Age, boyfriend. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hey. That's Shoot. audio of one of the videos. <laughs> hey, wow, you're both right. Uh, <laughs> Age, boyfriend. Ow, ow, who's your friend? <laughs> No, I don't know. Maybe I'll get into it tomorrow. I also like get my period. I like won't want to like do like make. Is that porn. a higher tier? For, yeah. yeah, it should. It, it it probably is, but it's I don't I don't like it. Yeah, subscribe for twenty five dollars a month, and you get to watch Karen insert a tampon. Karen. No insertion. You know that. No penetration. You ask me that every time. Out of the blue. Hey, penetration yet? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna support you. Wait, you don't do you don't do the cotton up there. You just. You're a pad lady? Oh, you're talking about my period. No, she's talking about on camera. I'm talking about on camera. Oh. oh, if, you oh. Were, or if you were to pull a tampon out Ew. of your vagina on camera, yeah. and just, let it, 
and let it dangle yeah. in front of the camera yeah. and let little like blood specks get onto the, the lens. Make like a Jackson yeah. Pollock, sell yes. that painting. Ooh. You know what makes it look like the lens so you don't have to ruin the camera? You just put a piece of plexiglass right in front of it and then just fleck it. Perfect. Yeah. You know? Mike makes porn. Yeah, right. How's your kid? He's great. <laughs> He's part of the porn. Zach, what do you have to plug? Instagram, Zach is not funny. Uh, this Friday night, I will be at BJ Ryan's in Norwalk, Connecticut, headlining two shows with Chris from Brooklyn. And Sunday night, I will be at Old Man Hustle with Ian Fi Dance. Very cool. Live shows this weekend. If you're watching live, I'll be in Florida with Kurt Metzger the whole weekend, Thursday through Sunday night. Thursday, book over tone. Florida at the Boca Black Box Theater. Friday and Saturday, I'll be in Tampa, Florida. You gotta love that. At Side Splitters, which is gonna be a ton of fun. Yeah. And then on Sunday, I'll be in Port St. Lucie at uh, some event space. Go, go to lewisofskanks.com and grab tickets for all of those shows right now. Drive around. If you can. Are prove- you doing Calta to promote? Yeah, I'm doing Calta you on are? Friday. Yeah. Nice. We put out a clip of us shitting on each other. I saw that. <laughs> And he, like his fans are like, this guy fucking sucks. I'm going to take just the same exact clip and put it on my thing. And all my fans are like, this guy fucking sucks. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to. And who can tell? They're both right. Yeah. I'm going to go in and probably stir up some trouble on the Calta show on Friday. So mm-hmm. tune in if you guys are 70 and you're in Florida with oh, terrestrial radio. Wow. It's in his home. I got to go to his home? You got to go to his home. Yeah. Is I mean, it his a house is home? insane. You might fall in love with him the moment you step on his property. Oh, really? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm going to beat him up in his own bedroom. <laughs> it's it's going to make you become a regional radio host. You're going to be like, fuck podcasts. Right. I'm, Maybe I'm I will. Cleveland. Honestly, dude, it, give me the opportunity to go be a terrestrial radio host. Mm-hmm. We should do terrestrial radio Fridays where we can't mm-hmm. curse. We just have to play music, pop That's music. Good idea. And we could just do fucking terrestrial radio bits. We're like Juan and Fez. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> One and fat. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, come out this weekend. Also, I'll be in Cleveland with Zach Amico. I'm going to be in Vegas June 4th and 5th. Austin as well with uh, with Big J, Zach, maybe Dave for our live Legion of Skanks show. We'll see. And uh, lots more. Go to lewisofskanks.com to grab tickets for all of those things. Also, make sure you guys check out all my other podcasts here on the network. Legion of Skanks, Believe You Me, and Gomez Watch a Seinfeld, where me and my sister, we break down another episode of Seinfeld every single week. We just did season two, episode nine, which was a lot of fun. That, that show is, is getting really, really good. So go subscribe to that as well. If you guys Hot love- take. I know, Seinfeld. <laughs> Seinfeld, got some bangers. <laughs> Don't sleep on really it. Really tight writing. <laughs> it's the first episode that I've genuinely enjoyed mm. and a fucking like 15 episodes so far. Yeah. So yeah, they need to pick up the What's writing. What's he doing now. in front of that brick wall at the beginning of every episode? <laughs> What is that? <laughs> the concept of comedy is so far. In- <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm terrible at comedy, everyone. <laughs> I'm not literally the best one at it in this fucking room, you oh, fucking scumbags, you including you, motherfucker. I see your cockiness. I disagree. I see your cockiness. <laughs> disagree. Let's go. Get him, Cannon. Let's go, Cannon. Disagree. Let's go. Battle. <laughs> Me and Cannon will be fucking coming to a town near you where you guys get to vote for your I would love to do dates either. with you. That would be fun. You we should. Go to date with no, you, trust you me, you don't want yeah. to. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Really? Yes, yeah, dating with your cell phone broken? <laughs> <laughs> do you like being backhanded? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, let, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, go. Twitch. No, well, go subscribe at castdigitalnetwork.com. Use the promo code RAP. You get a seven-day free trial. You get access to the entire on-demand library for all these shows, plus one subscriber at the end of the month. On the 30th of April, we're we're raffling off a free PS5. You don't got to pay. If you're in free trial, you could also get the PS5. You don't even have to pay for the subscription. You can subscribe on the 28th and then cancel it after you find out you don't win the PS5. But use that promo code RAP to get that seven-day free trial. That's it for now. That's it now. Okay. 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 That's the end of the show. Good. Good. That's it. Nice. Nice. Feel good. I like it. Everyone just keeps on posting pictures of your OnlyFans. That's what they do when I come. Just pictures or videos? Do they have videos too? Oh, what they paid for. Of when she comes. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. The videos. That's how you make the money, right? Is you sell the videos? The messages, yeah. But my most recent one, I dedicated to Shane Gillis, um, Feidelberg, and Gay Pat from Barstool, because they all split a subscription. (laughs) They each think I'm worth $9. Wait, sorry, (laughs) $8.50. Wow. And um, yeah, so I made a video I dedicated to them. I was wearing my Sea Shepherd shirt. Have you seen Sea Spiracy yet? No, no. No. I don't know what any of this is. I'm saving the fish. One pussy pick at a time. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's smell-o-vision. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she calls it when she sells her pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, more fishnets. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they actually aren't. Um, they are not sharing the pictures in the chat this time. Oh, they're not? Yeah, they're being respectful. I told you, I'm slowed down. I Because I fell back in love with my ex. I've been manipulating him for the past 72 hours. <laughs> it's gonna go. Oh, really? The same guy? Yes. Jesus Christ, Karen. I love him so much. He got stripped throughout, so I had to take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> you you have got Munchausen's he, for your boyfriend. Hundred percent. You got strep from subscribing to her OnlyFans. <laughs> Shut up. Don't talk There's about a lot it. of bacteria. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. My love. Well, we don't talk about it. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. Oh, thank you. So yeah, let's see what else is going on in the world. There's really nothing. I mean, Bernie Madoff being dead. I didn't even know he died. He died of what? Pyramid uh, syndrome. <laughs> thank you. Hit it. <laughs> Mundu- money laundering itis. Ah, oh. yeah. I'm no. not even jumping on with P- the P- pyramid <laughs> schmear. <laughs> <laughs> no? Shannon, how did it? Can we all guess every night? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another edition of Guess the News. It's time for another edition of Guess the News. <laughs> I have to know more information. I shouldn't have read just this headline. From the headlines that I've read, this man is innocent. He is the victim. <laughs> man, these guys don't know shit. What? Who is that? Whose fault is that? Who is that? Is that your fault, Shannon? Yeah, it's my fault. That's crazy. They're just still making mistakes at this late in the game. There's no bed, right? I mean, there's this is life. We make mistakes every day. <laughs> just oh, happens. She's on Jamaica time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. That was post spiritual trip. <laughs> hey, man. No music bed, no problem. <laughs> Everything I <laughs> you just talk over no music. Who cares? Shannon, wake the fuck up. Wake up. Listen, I'm, I'm, Grab I'm a brush to... and put on a little makeup. <laughs> I had to rush. You wanted to. To get started, I didn't have a chance to check everything. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Thank God Zach knew what I was going for. Sometimes things just spit out of my mouth, and I really need somebody to complete the joke. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Oh. So we're guessing the news here. How did Bernie Madoff die? I'll go first. I'm going to say that he uh, he choked on pennies. <laughs> he was tasting pennies in his Jew mouth to see if they were real. That's funny. Thanks, Shannon. That's Karen. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. does that all. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, if he says I Karen, know. he might get hard. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, that was my guess. Zach, what do you think? Or do you know already? If you know, don't guess. Overdosed on baby blood. <laughs> he tried to do a line of it instead of chug. Come oh, man. Oh, you guys took my guesses. <laughs> Got a foreskin caught in his throat. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't he in jail? Or was he not in Hold jail? Hold on. Actually, we're guessing the news. I don't even know if they ever let him out of jail. I didn't know he was still alive. He's yeah. an old Jew. He's an old Jew. He's an old Jew. Mm-hmm. Who went to jail years ago for money laundering, pyramid scheme ish type things. Don't I have no idea. Mm-hmm. No yeah. idea. I have no fucking idea. Yeah. How long was he in jail for? My father's murderer went to jail for 18 years. Less than that. He's been there less. No, he's than been that. there less, but how long was the sentence for? Oh, I think life. So stealing money from other Jews is more <laughs> of a crime than murdering a Puerto Rican. That's right. For I mean, and sure. it should be. I no, I'm saying more. that's a statement. <laughs> that's and a I'm, <laughs> I'm just naming a, a, yeah. a, a rule of life. Yes. Yeah. The, yes. The We're also go is... buying, going by like what upsets that culture more. Yeah. <laughs> And what they're known for. <laughs> Being right. stabbed or having your money laundered. I don't know. Puerto Rican funerals are their own wailing wall. Yeah, so. Puerto Rican funerals, they actually look like they're fun. They're scream crying. It's, no, te- it's horrifying. No. Yeah. They dress them up. They put a cigarette in his mouth, put sunglasses on him. He's, He's like playing his... PlayStation. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sitting in his favorite his favorite yeah. chair, smoking a blunt. Okay. Maybe I've gone to a different type. Oh, it was a You're Dominican thinking of, I'm thinking of Puerto Rican gangsters. You're thinking of like a good... Yeah, person like a janitor, somebody that owned a laundromat, <laughs> like, like the highest of high for Puerto Ricans. Yeah, you're doing a like a, yeah, like some yeah. sort of like um, <laughs> pillar of the an Puerto executive Rican cleaner. Yeah, like you know, a, a doorman in a building. His family's just very, very upset. But I've you... been to one of those, you have to go to like 189th Street mm-hmm. at Saint Guadalupe's. <laughs> oh, it's the word. It's just women. You can hear women screaming from outside, screaming. It haunts my dreams. I would never, I would never, if that was the case, because I can barely go to funerals now. Yeah. 
You know, I hate a funeral. He's on the no funeral list. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a funeral. Oh, that's mm-hmm. so weird. Everybody loves them. Some people dig them. Some people like Italians. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some people. Dude, guinea dudes will keep this, the funeral suit out. Yeah. Because they go to every, they'll be like, hey, my cousin's brother's guy that owns his uh, bait shop died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all got to go and stand by the coffin for four hours <laughs> and pretend we knew him. Irish people like the open bar. I bet you, right. I bet you could probably get laid at a funeral if you try hard enough. I wore a crop yeah. top to my uncle's funeral. Really? Yeah. Well, that's how he liked you. I gave a little speech. Yeah, it was yeah. for him. That's how he used to bounce around his knee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gave a speech? R.I.P. Uncle Bob. Yeah. I talked about how we used to do margaritas by like pouring the mix and tequila in our mouth and shake it around and do shots. Okay. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> then he would spit it in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> then he said, do not tell this to anyone. You could tell it at my funeral. He was joking, yeah. but here I am. No, I did. Yeah. Killed. It's great. Why do you keep the salt there? <laughs> <laughs> So did you did your story kill? Yeah. Yeah. No, he was already dead. <laughs> no, all his buddies were there. They're like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, I bet they loved you. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He used to pick up me, my friends and I, like when I was in college, and we would just go bar hopping. He'd like have like a limo for the night with like five of his like creepy like 40, 50 year old guy friends. And then they just leer at us and we get hammered. They'd be like, girls, you go in first. And then they're just sniffing the car seats yeah. for the first 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like this dude. Yeah. He was a great they, time. They were from Boston? From yeah, but then he eventually retired and moved to Florida and died in his trailer. They Dennis leered. <laughs> Dennis they leered. Dennis leered at you. You know what? Yep. Uh, I feel like a little uh, nepotism happened with that one. <laughs> you gave yourself a little Sammy Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> died himself white. <laughs> 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 it looks like Frankenberry. <laughs> Dude, he really does look like he froze to death. <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird. He's got like purple lips. How many funerals have you been to, Cannon? Um, I'd say like 25. No. Yeah, I've been to a lot. I had a lot of friends. That's die. crazy. Yeah, I've had a lot of that friends is a lot. die. That's a lot of funerals. Yeah. What was the you saddest you've people? ever been at a funeral? Uh, my grandfather, for sure. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> How did he die? Heart attack, clutched his chest, dropped. That was it. Hmm. You sure? That's like, were you there? No, I mean, you know, clutch his chest. I don't know. I just assumed. That's the story. (laughs) He's like, oh my dick. (laughs) (laughs) I will say, like, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my friends that died, like, those were sad funerals. But we were also like pretty close to blackout drunk. Like, that's kind of how we coped with all of that stuff. We'd go in the parking lot. I've never been to a funeral drunk. Really? I've never been to a funeral. I've never been to a funeral with a bar at it. Yeah. And I've never been to a funeral that goes somewhere with alcohol after. Oh, all no the kidding. Irish funeral were hammered. Yeah, there's wine. definitely yeah. there's wine afterwards. Usually, you go to somebody's house or like yeah. whatever it is. I think I was mm-hmm. of drinking age for like one of my like distant like great uncle's funerals, so that was a good time. Yeah, yeah it was fun. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> what is no something you don't love? Just, you yeah. just get the food and the alcohol. Yeah. I remember that guy. He used to like hit us with his shillelagh when we walked by. <laughs> is that what we call it? Mike knows what a shillelagh is. <laughs> I really do, but I have no experience <laughs> with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Irish sentence I've ever heard. My Uncle I don't John. Know sh- I have no idea what a shillelagh You know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's time for a guess the Irish thing. <laughs> bam, bam, ba, da. Mike, these, you know what it is, These motherfuckers do not know anything about Irish culture. These guys don't know shite. How about the Irish culture? Just whack me with a shillelagh. Is the Irish step dance past him? What the fuck is a... Don't tell me. Do you know what a shillelagh is? Yes. I'm assuming it's like, you know, like bikers just carry like a black jack like a, like a piece of metal in a in a leather strap but I just imagine it's green it's like a potato a, in a sock <laughs> <laughs> like a foxtail yeah dude oh I'm gonna hit it with my shillelaghs <laughs> sucks up the side of the head with a fucking potato that's how they mash potatoes in Ireland <laughs> oh hold on let me mash my potato with my shillelagh what what the fuck is a shillelagh Shannon do you know what a shillelagh is I did not know before I looked it up. Wow. Dude, in Ireland, when Irish I went to- Joey, if you don't know what a shillelagh is, you need to kill yourself right now. He knew. Yeah. He knows. You know what a shillelagh is. What a he fun looks, word. He looks like he plays it. But yeah. in, in Ireland, when it's I was- It's an there, instrument! <laughs> <laughs> it's no. an instrument! No, it's not. <laughs> Damn it! It's a board game! <laughs> oh, yeah, he used to hit us with a full board game. <laughs> you just unfold idiot. Jumanji and smash What else do you <laughs> play? You play an uh, instrument, you play a board you, game. Give me more clues about shillelaghs. Wait, you play it. You, you play don't it. play it. You don't play it. Oh, don't. then I don't know what it is. You thought it was a fucking instrument, I did, yeah. Dork. I thought it was like the Irish mandolin. I'm oh, wrong. no. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I've failed my brethren. What the That's fuck okay. is the shillelagh? No, no, no. no, no, no. Would no. I know what it is by looking at it or no? 
I mean, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, there, there it is. Is it for beaten snakes? Uh, okay, okay. I mean, that's how they felt about my Puerto Rican boyfriend. <laughs> it's the Lewis B. Good stick. Yeah. You know, when your town is overrun with frogs, <laughs> you must take out your shillelagh and whack them until. Yeah, they were. It would hurt. Whoever yeah. shillelagh is the most frogs wins an entire pint of beer. Yeah. My uncle John. Uh, it's what the fuck? It's a walking stick. It's a walking stick. Yeah, it's yeah. like a cane, but like you know. Irish. Uh, more Irish. <laughs> <laughs> stupid looking. <laughs> like it has bumps all over it. It's a canyon for short, stupid people. <laughs> it's covered in freckles. <laughs> Is that what um, leprechauns are holding? Yeah. They walk around with a shillelagh. Oh. Yeah. Shillelagh, yeah. They do. Oh, you took my shillelagh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah how do you spell shillelagh? Get out of here. You S- know how many concussions I've had. S H L. A- S-H-L- no, Shlul? that's slowly. <laughs> I bet it's like G-H-G-H-A-U, Kavanaugh. You know what I mean? Like Shillelagh. S-H- it's <laughs> Kavanaugh. It's just in the middle of the word. A- You're never going to spell it. It's Shannon <laughs> the and then Aliyah Janine. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> 175 years old. <laughs> 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 Shannon Lee Hire Aaliyah Janine is actually how you spell Shillelagh. <laughs> Shannon Lee uh, That's very close. <laughs> uh, Shillelagh. Uh, that's much simpler that than I thought it would be. That's Shillelagh. Yeah. Shillelagh. Yeah, but it's like, Erin, go bra, top of the morning to you, and the rest of the day to you. Oh. Is my it dog is typically still used alive? as a weapon. My dog's still alive, Why right, were you Paco? so mad or sad, rather, my at your grandfather's alive, funeral? Because right? uh, he was like my real dad. I don't know. He, he was, was like the you know, he was the guy I looked he up to. He you. How yeah. old were you when he died? Uh, I was 19. Right when my parents were getting a divorce and all my friends were dying. Ugh. So it was like kind of Brutal. a shit time in general. What was the least sad you've ever been in a funeral? Um... It will Shit. be when you die. It'll be mine. Oh, I get actually at that Puerto Rican funeral because I, di- I didn't know. I was like there for support for my buddy who was also kind of like a peripheral buddy. I was there to drink. Yeah. You just followed, the, <laughs> yeah. you followed yeah. the howling in the night and ended up there? Yeah. By my nose. Just, yeah. I'm like, yeah. what are you guys doing Saturday? Oh, we're going to stop by this funeral. Sweet. So we're pre-gaming at the funeral and a little party. I, I went to one recently, and it had like it, it was the first one I've been to since I've become a dad. And that I didn't know the person that passed, but I was there to support my buddy. It was his mother, and it had like this insane emotional effect on me, where I like I fucking had an outburst when I left. I like wow. kept it together, and then in classic Irish fashion, Scream, took it out on my screaming wife, screaming like a Dominican woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mother's funeral was the saddest. Affair because it was in a park. Well, exactly. Not because it was sad that she was dead. It was sad how little attention to detail was put in her funeral. Oh <laughs> it was fucking. I mean, when you're poor, like we we like. Oh yeah, they put you in like a fucking UPS padded pack and throw you right in the doggy, dirt. They don't they, give a shit. Yeah, they took like fucking. <laughs> the guys from the dump just came and picked her up. <laughs> they took like. Who's <laughs> mom's casket? <laughs> says this end up. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a, it was like a bot like a box that cartons of cigarettes come in. <laughs> packing like peanuts. Cool. <laughs> dude, she fucking dude. It was sad. Like, like what? Her, what? A, what an unattractive casket. I remember mm. how cheap her casket looked. Aww. There was no flowers. It's like a breakaway casket. <laughs> there was no pictures. There was no nothing. It was just a sad room. Why didn't you put up pictures with junkies? Isn't that kind of your junkies fault? Junkies everywhere. It was like if you go if you go to like uh, if you go to Washington Heights right now, that's what my mother's funeral looked like. Mm. Just garbage and junkies everywhere. There it is. This is titled the eco friendly casket. I wish her casket looked that nice. <laughs> I yeah, I would wish. want that. Who wants something like stained and fucking pe- like? Who cares? Yeah, I don't I'd even want, want to I'd be buried. I mean, I I'd think want that's a free go friendly but... casket. That's what I want. I want you know like. I want, to be, in it. I want it to be in a beautiful casket. I want to be in a stained casket. What do you care, though? You're dead. 
It's themed like the band Stained. <laughs> that's what it is. It's been a while. Yeah, that's what you're gonna play as they lower me into my grave. It's a stained themed funeral. The guy is stunned. Somebody asked to play his funeral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have Aaron Lewis to speak here. Is that his real name? Aaron Lewis. Aaron wow, Lewis. that is yeah. a correct bolt. That's yeah. amazing. Wow. That's big, right. Big fan. So I'm so happy to be here at Luis J. Gomez's funeral. Uh, this one's for the troops. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. He just plays that 13 yeah. times. Do they have another song? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm on the outside. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking, looking at... That would be the one that I would want at my funeral. <laughs> Everyone's bawling. <laughs> I can't see through you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> it's, ju- it's just slow ballads from rap metal groups. Dude, hell yeah. So it's, uh, uh, blue, is it Blue Eyes? Behind Blue Eyes. Behind Blue Eyes, the cover that Fred Durst did, where he's singing, oh, yeah. he's not rapping. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Rap, Nookie. That was a little uh, auto-tune too, right? Yeah, I'm sure. He might have been early to the game with that. Very early to the game. I actually like that song. That song, Pioneer. That song actually sort of fucking... Means something Behind Blue Eyes Behind by Blue Fred Eyes. Durst. Yeah, okay, play, play it. It's a Who cover. No, I know that. I, I, I'm just saying this That's version. what people say now. <laughs> Fred Durst, who? <laughs> I liked it. Fucking the guitars all... You got Wes Borland sitting there with black <laughs> fucking eyes. <laughs> dressed like a chipmunk in full makeup. <laughs> To be a sad man To be a bad man Behind blue eyes so when, he, when he can't find his hat, this is what he sings What it's like to be a man Come on, Karen I, uh, yep Hey, dude yeah. Who are you texting right now? Your ex-boyfriend? First of all Give me your phone Shut up Give me your phone Shut up, don't talk about him I'm gonna get him back My dream it's empty. empty. That's a good song, guys. This holds up. Good. This holds up. Tell me this doesn't hold up. It's better than I remember, to be honest. Solid. Yeah. Is there a break or something that brings in the DJ or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when does the beat drop? No, there is no beat, dude. It's just oh. that the whole time. Oh. oh, soulful Fred. Behind blue eyes. How are they supposed to know when to drop your casket into the ocean? <laughs> like Osama bin Laden. <laughs> to kill Lewis, there's no, there's no proof that Lewis is really dead. <laughs> no, I want to be. I want to. We had to do it so they wouldn't be, have a martyr. I want a tradition Egyptian funeral. <laughs> we would want... do it so the proud boys would have a martyr. Traditional Egyptian funeral? <laughs> yeah. So you can be buried with all your wives? No, I'm not going to be mummified. That's what they did for oh. kings and queens. I want to be put on a raft. That's lit on fire. That's Vikings, I thought. No, dude, there's got to be like some sort of, some copper statue of you in West Haverstraw Square. <laughs> <laughs> Pond. And, and people make pilgrimages to go there <laughs> to go see the it. rattlesnake. <laughs> Yeah, no, I want I want to be on I want to be rafted down a river and then my it to be lit on fire. Oh dude, fire fucking bow and arrow. Oh yeah. With dude. coins over your eyes, just Yeah, Zach has to fucking try to hit me with a flaming arrow. It's a real ass rap. <laughs> just fucking, Hell yeah. like, he keeps missing. Yeah. No, they make me just die with him. <laughs> <laughs> like when a pharaoh had pets. <laughs> Zach, you're the raft. <laughs> it's like Smithers and Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bird's grave. That's Zach right. shooting fucking flaming marshmallows at me. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a, a wonderful funeral. That's actually a fucking badass funeral. Is that legal anywhere? Am I allowed to be? They floated? just made Viking funeral's legal somewhere. Is that what it's no called? The Viking shit. funeral. Viking funeral was just made legal in some state. I definitely read. That's that what I want. Like so you know how assisted suicide is legal in like Oregon or whatever? Could you get assisted suicide in like the the old knight way, where you take a broadsword and just push it right through their sternum? Oh shit. Let's see. Now that we're familiar with what a Viking funeral is, we can ask: Is it legal in New York State? The answer is well, sort of. Ha, ha. According to a funeral compa- to funeral companion, you are able to cremate a body in the water as long as there's nautical miles from shores and beaches. So like, <laughs> you got to be in the middle of the ocean <laughs> in rough seas. <laughs> Don't you? All I want. To do is to be burned in a raft <laughs> as Behind Blue Eyes plays by Limp Biscuit. Mm-hmm. That is my fucking fantasy. That's it. Please. Dude, in my... the Jamaican Caribbean Sea. Dude, my buddy died and his service was over the weekend and we watched it online. And at the end of the service, they asked that Purple Rain be played mm-hmm. and the CD started skipping. 
and it was <laughs> so fucking mortifying. <laughs> and I'm thinking ten thousand dollars to bury somebody. Mm-hmm. Can't get an iPod on aux cord. <laughs> yeah, a ninety nine cent download. That was this past weekend. Yeah, and you you watched it on live stream. Yeah, nice. Did you come? <laughs> Uh, that's fucking dope. We should have gotten streaming rights to that. That's actually a great business model. Well, the funeral parlor that he went to, they do it like every... You can just log on to their <laughs> Facebook and watch a funeral every day. Wow. wow what and am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> they keep you, them up. If, if you really want to... If you really feel like being sad. Yeah. Lewis has to start making that a part of the podcast contract, where it's like, so not only are you in this as a podcast, but when you die, we get streaming rights to your funeral. Yeah. I think we should get rights to your body after you die. No. You can literally do whatever you want to my body after I die. Me too. I'm good. You can make our bodies <laughs> fuck if we're both dead. Dude, if you want to sew <laughs> like if you want to sew you know? me and Mike Cannon into 69 position for our funeral, uh, you can do that. You could literally <laughs> And then put us on a raft and light us on you fire. You can sew his mouth around my <laughs> cock <laughs> and sew my mouth around his. I want cock and balls though. Shatter my jaw <laughs> yeah. and put the whole fucking package in my face. Thank I you for giving me that compliment. Like you need to shatter your jaw to get my cock and you balls know. in your mouth. I and I mean this. And then if we, if me and Mike Cannon die the same week, we'll sign off on this right now to use this. Mm-hmm. We're being put into 69 position and we're going to get a Viking funeral. <laughs> okay. If you're going to 69, it's way funnier to be buried that way. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you're stuck like that forever. Shit. No, I think it'd be funnier after you keep on missing us with the arrows that we just wash up on shore (laughs) as some fucking fit kid's Uh family vacation. (laughs) Is that a sea turtle? (laughs) Just on Jones Beach. (laughs) Just fucking fucking blue and fucking rotting, just 69 corpses. We got to wash up at a villa in Jamaica. We can't keep them away. (laughs) Hey, man. I love it. Oh, look at these (laughs) bumper (laughs) clouds. Oh, shit. Lasco Gino just asked when in the racist live chat, when's your court date, Lewis? Fuck. I forgot about the court date. What court date? What court date? For Jay getting pulled off stage. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah, we're literally going to just record it, I think illegally, mm-hmm. and then put it out as a podcast. So funny. That's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, look what happened with El Prez. His entire deposition yeah, just went wildly the, viral. The Michael Rappaport thing. Dude, that was hilarious when he's like, he just completely refuted the timeline and so after good. just looked at the guy and was like, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. There we go. All right. So, do you want to know about Bernie Madoff and how he died? Yeah, no. fuck him. <laughs> so That's how he died. Made off without his life. Come on. Come. <laughs> is, uh, there, is it? Can you play that song backwards? He's at a. He's eighty-two <laughs> years old. He's eighty-two years old. So he he, di- he died of oldness. Right. Mm. Oldness got him. As it does, it gets us all. Was he in the same prison as Bill Cosby? Uh, was he? That'd be cool if they were roommates. Just what a fun, odd couple. Yeah, Bill and Bernie. <laughs> Bill and Bernie. <laughs> He's in North Carolina. <laughs> hmm. North Carolina. <laughs> he probably got lynched. And his sentence was 150 years. That's hey, Bernie, you want to fuck that lady? I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> 150 years was the sentence mm-hmm. for stealing money. For stealing money, that's yeah. crazy. He ruined people's lives, though. Like it's not just stealing money; like their whole livelihood. Yeah, he could have killed seven and a half Puerto Ricans. Right, and it still wouldn't have added up to how much money. <laughs> that's true. Well, and they had to make it 150 years in case he lived longer. Right. <laughs> they were genuinely concerned. So what? Uh, what? How did he die? Stake to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> his his last candle went out. <laughs> So they said he the had, last pedal fell off the rose. <laughs> they said he had been suffering from end stage kidney disease and then had a whole it's bunch the worst of other stage. chronic <laughs> ailments. So that they they officially called that he died of natural causes. You are the, right. The end stage. Yeah, the end stage kidney disease. Are you saying end or the letter N? End. Yeah, that's where you just drink cognac. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got end stage kidney disease. It's Bernie Madoff wearing the, the <clears throat> Thanos glove, snapping himself to death. <laughs> End stage. So he had kidney disease. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's old age. It's some old shit. Your kidneys give, your organs give. I said he had 37,000 victims in 136 countries. 37,000 victims? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just stole a couple couple bucks. Wow. I mean, at that point, you know. That's 37,000 people who fell for it. I respect that, The thing is, is like, 
at what point do you kind of tip your cap also? Yeah. yeah like when somebody that. is that much of a record breaker, you kind of like you, almost at what time point do you serve. tip your tiny hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just bring it to the front for yeah, respect. <laughs> uh karen how many funerals have you been to um my grandmother my uncle john my uncle bob my aunt sheila just died but we haven't had a funeral for her yet um when did she die she's still in the fridge i feel like she was one of the first people to get covid she died like a year ago but she she was was like covid hipster yeah she was really trendy with it um what do they do with her body i don't know should i make a phone call (laughs) i'm a bad niece (laughs) no idea you have no idea where her body's at florida (laughs) <laughs> she was at, she lived in florida and her like boyfriend at the time went to drive her to the hospital and she died in the car while he was driving her yeah wow. and she was obese and had really bad asthma so i think she got covid you probably had to get a lot of air fresheners <laughs> <laughs> just leave it on the side of the road yeah. <laughs> no it'd be a cool way it's to die body up on center blocks get die of covid get frozen and then get put like on those horses that they do for the construction and then just have a chinese person karate chop you in yeah. half to finish the job yeah. that'd be fucking badass dude <laughs> that'd be yeah. sweet having a karate kid chop you in half <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> frozen <laughs> <laughs> it would have to I, I would rather an older person as well that'd be fun oh like an old like an karate old master. karate master yeah. yeah that's coming out of retirement to shatter one last thing yeah no, I want some big meathead <laughs> that's going to break his hand on the ice but not go through. <laughs> that's what I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always wanted to be able to fucking do that. Like break boards and shit. James can, can he? Doesn't James? He, your son? My son? Yeah, doesn't he do that in like... You think my son's a karate master? Doesn't he do karate class? No, he does jujitsu. They don't uh, break boards in jujitsu, dude. They break oh, bones. Oh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> With guns. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Zach? How many funerals have you been to? Probably about the same as Mike. That many? Yeah, when you... You I have mean, an unhealthy crew of friends around you. No, that's like... That's just... Aren't you guys best friends? You go to... <laughs> some Everyone around you is <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Louis, yeah. Louis says as he taps Kratom into his coffee. <laughs> some families go to like... You go to support like... You go to funerals people you don't know. Mm. No, never. And I hate that. Like, I stopped doing that once... I had volition that I didn't have to. When you're when I was a kid, you go to a funeral every few weeks. Really? Few yeah, you go. Weeks. Yeah, that's, that's, you, that's morbid lot, and strange. Yeah. No, you go to like somebody's grandma died. I never met her, but we're gonna go and support her. Somebody's fucking cousin died. You, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. Yes, not once. Never been to a funeral of somebody. I've been to my mother's funeral, my grandma Jane's funeral, my uncle Joe's funeral. And then Ozzy Baez, the manager of the New York Comedy Club. Ozzy Baez. Ozzy Baez, who died a long, long time ago. Are we not counting Rick's memorial? That's not a funeral. Yeah, yeah. That was the best Lewis has ever done. Lewis, it was right when James was, was he born or was he about to be born? I don't know. Lewis fucking murdered. It was Christmas. I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> I'm was, admitting it now. I actually killed Rick Samato. He died so. Christmas of 2010, 11? 2012. That year is when my son was born. Then it was, it was a 2012. few days after Christmas. So he was my son was about to be born. Yeah, you fucking ooh, you were good. Yeah, yeah. Had a nice little fucking speech. Made everyone cry. Nice. I worked up some fake tears myself. It was the best <laughs> acting I've ever done in my entire life. I didn't care about Rick. I was just I just wanted some stage time. I was desperate for stage time at that time, so I pretended to be friends with him. It was a bringer. Like, you guys want to go to a funeral? Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to kill. No? Okay. All right. Pre-park shows. Pretty innovative. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty goddamn innovative. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe three or four funerals in my life. Your father didn't have a funeral? He did, but I was not invited. What? I was invited. Close family. Lonely. (laughs) (laughs) People he knew the names of. I I I was four. So I think that they thought I was too young to handle my own father's funeral. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they figured they'd haunt you with non-closure for the rest of your life. Well, would I have had closure? <laughs> would I have had closure? I don't know. I think at four, you're not really old enough to process. I remember my, my mom telling me that my father was dead, and I didn't cry. It's so sad. I think you're too young to process. Four is really young. Yeah. Well, she told me in a hilarious way. Yeah. She, uh, she acted out the stabbing. She no. She she uh, puppets. <laughs> no other <laughs> other funny things. Come on, give me more suggestions. <laughs> uh, 
It was like a reveal cake. Like, <laughs> a death I, reveal cake. I cut into cake. the cake and... It was just gray body. It was my dad's fingers. <laughs> They're like, this looks like Papa's finger. She was like, yes, yes, he's dead. <laughs> he was a man. Did you see him a lot at that point? I'm sorry if you don't want to talk about it, but I am curious. Uh, I don't know. I just don't remember. I, I only have a few memories with my father ever. Um... So, yeah, I don't really remember how much he was around. Mm-hmm. I know my mother was, like, legitimately, like, in love with him and, like, obsessed with him. Yeah. So, yeah, but he had other kids. Well, that... that's probably, I don't know if you do, but I remember that a lot about, like, childhood funerals is, like, watching my parents get fucked up by stuff or friends that you've, like, never seen cry. And all mm-hmm. of a sudden you're like, well, that's a new face. That's that's off-putting. I don't know how to do it. I remember at my mother's funeral, I didn't want to cry. I remember, like, stopping myself from crying. Like, I was at her casket finally. And I was like... I didn't happen. I was like, just like, just like whatever it was, I didn't want to have that moment. And I like started to cry a little bit. And then my aunt Amory came and put her arm, her hand on my shoulder. And I was like, get off. <laughs> oh my God. Get off I thought you were going to say. I don't say need that. anything. I thought you were going to say that I really started to cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got angry. <laughs> no, I, real oh, Lewis was born. I then I, <laughs> I ran out and I got on my motorcycle and I just drove. <laughs> I just drove. Are you sure that's not the end no of Dirty Dancing? No one knows dancing? what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad man. <laughs> then I found that bronze statue myself and I threw my helmet at it. <laughs> no, that was Rocky Three. I'm sorry. I get confused sometimes. I remember going to my mother's aunt's funeral and she, you know, I had known her and all that stuff, but she was a little scary by the end of it, you know, when I was in like sixth, seventh well, grade. Well, she was dead. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know when they kind of look a little dead, like they're ghoulish yes. a little bit. Like, and and it's just, it, it's old, a little Old women in the 80s and 90s, that's a great way to describe them. Ghoulish. Yeah. The ghoulish girls? Well, and she the was I, from Ireland Irish, so she literally looked like Ernest Scared Stupid. Like okay. she looked <laughs> like the troll, and, and it was just so much to kind of like- yeah, Michael, they, give me my shillelagh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beat my legs with it. That's Get why me my shillelagh. An old woman's having a hard time walking right now. <laughs> but I remember going to the funeral and then like, and not crying, but trying to cry. And I was so worried that the reason I wasn't crying was because I was like a sociopath or a murderer or something like that, that I started crying off of that. Oh, about yourself. About myself. Ah, yeah. Which is sociopathic. That's right. Narcissistic. Sort of. For sure. Yeah. My whole life up until very recently, I thought crying was gay. It was a very gay, gay sort of activity. To do. So I would stop myself from crying. I never cried on a movie growing up, ever. Not once. And I remember one time I was going to cry during E.T., watching it with my sister and my my mom. And, you know, I got really silent because E.T. was in a bubble and he was dying. Yeah. And I was very sad. And I was like, I, I was like choked up. And I was like, I was kind of like just doing this and like sitting there. And my sister and my mom started making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there if that's your origin story, <laughs> literally. So I'm like, are you gonna cry, yeah. you little bitch? <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh, and then I suppressed it even further. And I started rocking back and forth, oh my God. like this, like a little. You just started screaming the N word to prove yeah. how tough you were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is how Gas Digital was born. It was my mother calling me gay for crying at ET and me suppressing it, and that energy. Deep down, it was like compressed like a fucking diamond. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? And that that anger and that fucking rage and that sadness, soon enough, was expressed as racist podcast. To this day, if you try to give Lewis Reese's pieces, he will punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I have moments like that too, where I like I kind of figured out what when everybody turned on me you know what i mean like when you can't trust your family i almost drowned in jones at jones beach when i was like four or five years old it's one of my earliest memories i walked in and got probably taken down by what was a small wave but to me it's like coming over the top it's pushing me down to the sand i'm trying to get up i can't breathe another wave crashes right at that moment you're like (gasps) dude literally all that shit and i'm like losing my mind getting thrown all over the water right and i like finally push myself up and look and my father and his whole family are pointing and laughing at me. Yeah. That's so mean. 
<laughs> I'm genuinely alone in the world. I have no one. Grandpa. <laughs> They were trying to make you stronger. I fell into a pond full of ducks. And I remember my dog had kind of pushed me in. All these ducks were like quacking. Your dog hated you? Yeah. She was like swimming next to me. She's like, oh, let me get these ducks. And I was like, hey, I'm drowning. And I remember my mom just kind of pulled me out by my collar and then made me take a bath and go to bed I'm right sorry, away. by your collar? Like whatever I was wearing, like a collar, like my coat. She just like drove me She's dressed me like her dog. <laughs> I was a leash kid, were you? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was. I got hit though. Yeah, me too. You were a leash kid? Yeah. My I mom put a leash constantly. on me just to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> You're free. Yeah, he was, he was just, just out of the back of her station wagon into a meadow. Yeah, just to... They tried electric shock... We took Lewis shock. to a farm. <laughs> <laughs> they tried electric shock collars on Lewis. He was a trial kid. You know what was one of the saddest scenes in a movie ever? Hmm. The, it, once he, this was during my crying is gay phases, which literally went up until I was 30. Yeah. Like, yeah. crying was gay. I didn't cry up until I had a kid. Then I had a kid, then everything makes me cry now. Now I'm just everything. like... You could fucking just show me anything with anything with a father and a son. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, guaranteed. About every to time. cry listening to you talk I know, about crying. I know. But uh, w- this is. I saw this movie before I had a kid, and it was when crying was gay. But I remember suppressing the cry. But it would now if I watch it, it would fucking probably kill me. It was the scene with Haley Joel Osment. Uh, was it AI? Is that the, was that the name of the movie? Oh, when he's like a real boy or something. He's a robot, but yeah. like AI's gotten so good that he yes he believes in his soul that he's a boy. Like yeah. he's like I have a soul, like I'm a boy, but he's a robot. Mm-hmm. And the mom, it's like Ian. <laughs> the mom in like the first like thirty minutes of the movie, the mom I don't remember the reason why she gets over having this little fucking boy. Right, she just doesn't want him oh, anymore. That's right. And she takes him to the woods, like the scene from Harry and the Hendersons. The same exact scene, Harry. And, this is the scene, yeah, dude. Same exact scene got me as a kid. I remember pause it for a second. The same exact scene where they take where they're like, "Harry, we can't have a Bigfoot in s- suburban America." <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you know, we live uh, in a high ranch. It's not working. Yeah, I mean, we we thought we could take care of this Bigfoot, and you know, like it's not we a broke big deal. Three toilets. This week. I can't. I can't avoid Dude, it. <laughs> the, I mean, it was psychotic that they would take Sasquatch out of his natural environment and bring him to the suburbs. Dude, how about that? And people that actually have tigers in their Bronx. <laughs> Apartments. Yes. <laughs> like, those, same exact sort of psychosis. Yes. <laughs> so then he brings John Lithgow brings Harry back to the woods, and he's like, "Harry, you, you got to go. We can't, can't keep you in our cul-de-sac. You're a fucking Bigfoot." And Harry's like, <laughs> "You'll get your own place in Jersey." <laughs> it's, like, it's the same sound Lewis made when his aunt touched his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, Harry, you can't, you can't. <laughs> and at one point, John Lithgow goes, Harry, no. And he like, uh, oh, yeah. cup slaps him in the ear. <laughs> Not thinking that Sasquatch would tear his fucking arms off his body. <laughs> he wouldn't have, but Harry starts to cry and he just goes, and then dips off into the woods. Mm-hmm. That, that scene happens again. It's how B broke up with you. (laughs) 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 They they recreated that scene with... uh, We find my own place three blocks down the street. (laughs) (laughs) So pull up the scene from AI. This scene got me so much when I was a kid. It probably won't get me now, but let's see. Oh, look, she tells him we're going to go camping. Is that the lady from Weeds? Is it? I think it is the lady from Weeds. Yeah. What's her name? She's Mary actress. Louise. Parker. Mary Louise. Parker. Yeah, it is the lady from Weeds. Did you just say she's an actress? Yeah. You, this woman in the movie? Listen. You guys haven't seen this documentary? <laughs> oh, it is kind of getting me now, to be honest with you. David, listen. No. You want to understand the reasons, but. I have to leave you here. Uh. Is it a game? When will you come back from? Oh, come on, guys. 
I'm not, David. You'll, you'll have to be here by yourself. You have to live in the woods by yourself. You How think you're you a child. How could you do that to anything? Even if it was a robot. I couldn't do that to a robot. How could you do this to a child actor? That's not Mary Lee's I couldn't do this to. I couldn't do this to my iPhone. <laughs> could you imagine leaving your iPhone in the woods? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No. Oh. No, 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 no. No, mommy. No, mommy, please, he says. Oh, it's killing me. Can she do it? That's not Mary Louise. It's not. I'm so sorry. I think it is. We know. No, it's actually the woman from Bedazzled. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, you fucking dumb whore, bitch! You fucking bitch! Oh. If I become a real boy, can I come home? This is I not am, killing everyone. This right? is so I, I hate this. I, <laughs> so oh, yeah, being, oh, you're a faggot. Where's your off switch? <laughs> she's running from him. What if he starts running like uh, the T2000? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hit him like that would Harry be funny Henderson. If he just snapped her neck by mistake. <laughs> oh, look, don't go that way. Right. Look, don't, look at me. Look, don't go that way. All right, go anywhere but that way, or they'll catch you. Don't ever let them catch you. Listen, stay Go. away from flesh fairs, away from there are lots of people. All right, stop all playing this. It's making me sad. I'm so upset. You bitch, Shannon. <laughs> Why does she have to get rid of her boy robot? <laughs> I have the Harry and the Hendersons one also if you want. She got him wet. <laughs> Put him in sparking. rice. <laughs> 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 she just <laughs> buried him in a bag of rice. <laughs> yeah, pull up Harry and the Hendersons. Same scene. Same wood. It really is. Oh, I'm so sad now. Look. Oh. Hurry. This may not be the first one. No, th- I think this is this is all right. This pause is it. A good one, this is the, the you hear the music. It's the yeah. same shit. They're, yeah. They're dumping Harry in the fucking woods, <laughs> but they have inspirational happy music on. So like, oh, this is what's supposed to happen. Versus like sad fucking. Aw. It's just a beef jerky commercial. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the sad scene from Harry and the Hendersons where he smacks him right in his fucking Sasquatch oh. face. I thought this was a comedy podcast. This is bumming me out. Is that Does that bum you out? Yeah, yeah. that was really tough. Have you ever seen that movie? Uh, I did in high school. I haven't watched it since. It For didn't... a while, my, my psychology teacher was playing us like all these di- weird movies like that. Yeah. We watched K-Pax. Was that the... Uh, Kevin Spacey one? Kevin Spacey, where he thought he was an alien or something like that. Turns yeah. out he was a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he was just raping young gay men. Gay packs. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm, he just kept on making the I'm from Uranus joke to every yeah. young boy. <laughs> it's gay packs. He's making packs with these kids that they will never talk. Can I have another coffee, please? That was wordy. Is this bumming you out? Can yeah. I? I'm sorry. It's really sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I we go back to can we t- go back to talking about family members' funerals? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Bump it up. Just like a sad. That was cloud. a sad. That was a sad scene from that movie. That was one of the saddest. And I remember just being like in you know, probably in high school, being like, "Yeah, it's fucking gay. I'm gonna cry at this shit." <laughs> but it made me very sad. What was the first movie that got you? I mean, obviously, it didn't Milo Notice get you on the podcast? That the movie didn't make me sad. People really, they really think that Milo Notice. Like makes me cry. They're fucking retarded. Hmm. Well, they saw you cry while it was on. Hmm. No, they saw me cry while discussing watching Milo and Otis with my son and talking about how it's the first movie that I watched with my son that I had also watched with my mother. Oh. So it was like this, like, you know, this cathartic. I re- yeah, I remember being his age at five watching this with my mom mm-hmm. and then watching it with him. It was like, you know, without hearing the tapping of spoons in the background. <laughs> it's a little different. What do you think? She played spoons. She was a heroin addict. They didn't fucking. <laughs> Maybe she had a few. <laughs> that looks Ooh, good. I love heroin. That looks good. <laughs> looks like fun. Heroin's the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heroin, heroin, heroin. Good. That was me playing the spoons. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Really good stuff. <laughs> if you guys could hear the audio, it's fucking fire. <laughs> So good, guys. You guys should hear my spoon playing. What's the best sound effect you can make with your mouth, Gal? It's just going to be like a fart noise. I can whistle. That's not a sound effect. (laughs) 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 That's your fart? That's what somebody inserts too fast. (laughs) That was a queef? Dude, girls don't know how to make sound effects for shit. It was more of a queef? 
What? I mean, what Let's do you... hear your sound. I'm going to hear... All right, that's it. Whoop. New segment. New segment. <laughs> oh, my God. Karen does good? sound effects. Is that good? All right, let's oh, wait, see. Oh, remember this one? Girl, 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 girl. That's a good oh, one, yeah. right? Girl, girl, that was, girl, girl, girl. That was big girl, with, girl. The, with the... Girl, 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 girl. Girl, 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 girl. Girl, girl, girl. But it sounds you better. You got to tighten yours Girl, girl, girl. girl. Girl, girl. I don't know which one of them you're talking to. <laughs> girl, 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 girl. I can't. I don't know what that is. Girl, girl, girl. Dude, you just sound like a kazoo. <laughs> nice. Wow. Your mom did That's abandon you good. in the woods. <laughs> remember when? Uh, remember when Free Willy was uh, waiting for his family, mm. and he'd get sad, and he'd do his. Exactly that sounds like sound. a shitty Halloween ghost on a porch. Shannon, pull it up. I <laughs> guarantee it's like it's a perfect dollar pitch. store ghost that you would fucking that takes double A batteries. <laughs> like you step on the welcome mat and that's what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it's perfect. God, Shannon, I want to hear it. What's the best sound effect? Before we find out that Shannon did the voiceover for this. <laughs> it's my first. I just stand up my baby. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I wanna I just want to do sad animals from movies now. Yes. Do you have one? Mogwai. <laughs> was that sad? Was he sad? No. Mogwai? No, he was never sad. He was very sad. He Who should was? have been because he fucking started nearly the end of the world. Who was that? The gremlin. Gremlin. Oh. Mogwai. Yeah. That was Gizmo. great. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh who Gizmo. played it? <laughs> Your vocals are so dynamic. Mogwai! Mogwai! HBO! Showtime! Cinemax! Remember the end of Gremlins 2? He's excited about getting cable. He's like, HBO! Showtime! Cinemax! I can't do a falsetto. Yeah, it's, it's the same voice when you do Stitch, when we own Stitch. We are family. Well, no, it's the same voice. <laughs> it's the same voice from Bobby from Bobby's World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the same voice from of Skeeter from the Muppet Babies because they're okay. all done by Howie Mandel. Because in his stand-up act, he talked about how he got three different paychecks for just doing the same dumb voice. Huh. It was a great bit. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, those were those were sad. Those are sad movies. Those were sad movies. What was the first movie that got you? The first one, I mean, probably Bambi or something like that. Mm. But the one that gets me so consistently, it's like such a meat dick thing to say, but Rudy gets me every single time. When they put him in at the end? <clears throat> yeah. I yeah. mean, any moment of like, of like tribulation, you know, you're, right. you, you've overcome something. It's, you know, I have that, uh, I have that whole mindset that emotional somebody overcoming something. So that, that just sets me off, man. Doesn't get, doesn't get me at all. Not at all. I, when you've I watch... never considered yourself an underdog. No, I'm all underdog, but I. That's not what I. Uh... He's not a team player. Though. He's that's never right. played like um, team sports. Oh Any yeah, sp- a sports movie. I couldn't imagine. Oh, that does it for couldn't me. Couldn't fucking imagine crying during a sports movie. Yeah, that's wild. I cried after my. I like after every season. I think every every last game, I was like <laughs> in the fucking locker room really? like a little baby. Yeah, <laughs> it meant so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so embarrassing, like yeah. how much it actually meant to me and how uh, not far I went. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're crying like Little League World Series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Um, I'm in the Little League Hall of Fame. Nice. Yeah. That's good for you. Played, you are. Yeah, I played in the first ever season of Cooperstown Field of Dreams. We played against other 12 year olds from Florida with like full beards, piping like <laughs> 89 mile per hour fastballs what? from 40 feet away. They it was, yeah. yeah, dude. Their it was kids crazy. are in the stands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was it was wild. I mean, I I pitched pretty well. My friend Rob hit a home run, but I think we won like two or three games. We got fucking dominated. Mm. We did steal a lot of memorabilia from the Cooperstown uh, baseball card store. Nice. So, you know. Nice. What about you, Karen? What's the first movie you ever cried at? Do you remember? Beaches. Do you remember that one? No. It was Bette, Bette Midler. Midler. yeah. Maya, Maya Bialik, however you say her name, plays yes. her when she's younger. Blossom. Blossom, yes. And um, and then it's her and Barbara Hershey. Blossom. 
ironically, did not blossom. She She's sure did. Fucking, she wilted. <laughs> she yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, <laughs> she fucking. She got bitch, bloated uh, and dehydrated at the yeah. same time. That, that bitch needs some photosynthesis yeah. because she is not blossoming. She's wicked smart, though. She, oh, yeah. She has like a doctorate or something. She's like really smart. You are Boston trash. Why? She's wicked, wicked, wicked smart. smart. <laughs> wicked smart. The Jew broad, wicked smart. <laughs> got a schnoz on her. But her best friend dies. From Six? cancer. <laughs> Six got knocked down to five. <laughs> Six got cancer. <laughs> St- stage six, how she's in coma. Her best friend gets cancer, and then she takes her daughter to take care of her, even though Bette Midler is like, you know, this. she's on Broadway. She's like fabulous. She's got dogs and different lovers all the time. Like she wasn't supposed to be a mom, but her best friend died and left her this kid. And then she plays, uh, or she sings Wind Beneath My Wings, like, as she dies. And it's like, when that song plays, it's very sad. What? Who dies? Her best friend. It's a, like a best friend. But I friend. thought the whole beginning of the movie is her taking her best friend's kid. No, that's the end of the movie. Oh, I thought it's a better movie. I want to see the sec- I want to see the sequel where she's taking care of this kid and trying to juggle her career as a Broadway actress and a fucking... Yeah. There might be a Beaches too. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds like a better movie. <laughs> <laughs> All set up? The whole movie's set up? Mm-mm. I don't like it. I have the final scene. Do you want to see it? Sure, please pull it up. Why not? We'll do sad scenes for movies. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. Oh. It's a long ass scene. <laughs> Cece, her name was. She's like, I'm going to go live with Miss Cece. Is that the girl who was Icebox and Little Giants? I think so. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Is that Curly Sue? <laughs> it, actually, no. it actually looks like the boy from E.T. Yeah. Drew Barrymore was in E.T., right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Was she just remembering her mom? Have you ever seen that? That I've cried over. The boy who was the lead in E.T., his audition in front of Ron Howard and Spielberg to play that fucking part He's like a sociopath. He's such a good actor. Really? He, he improvises this entire scene, cries on command, and both of them are like, yeah, you're hired. Like, yeah. That was the most insane thing we've ever seen. Yeah. This is sad to you, Karen? Wa- I, Women yeah. are fucking dolts. They really are stupid. <laughs> Karen just thinks of somebody sticking her with a kid, and she gets fucking upset. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> do it. So yeah. sad. I'm like, she has no other options. <laughs> she has to take care yeah, of her. Is, this is horrible. This is not sad at all. I brought the room to a screeching halt with the scene that I brought. Everyone That's one thought, of your skills. <laughs> yeah. Everyone thought that... Thank you, Zach. Br- bring up the audition. Bring up the bring kid up the audition. auditioning bring for up the audition. It'll, it'll, it'll fuck. Doggy, come on. It'll stop you in your tracks. Come on now. You give a fuck? That ain't shit. The, what, the, I, remember, I remember one of the early tearjerkers that we're supposed to cry at that didn't really get me going uh, was... Schindler's List. <laughs> Did it really get me going? Did it do anything? Well, that sweet red coat. <laughs> is it, is yes, it? this is it. Let's see. And uh, there's a knock on your door and a man comes in, a grown man, not your brother. And he's from NASA, you know, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And he has found out that you have a creature. He doesn't know exactly what he, he has found out you have a creature in your closet. A creature that he's been looking for for a long time. And you've had this creature now for three or four weeks. You become best friends with it, and he wants to take the creature away. Aww. And he's come with a search warrant, and he's come with permission to take the creature away. And you're not going to let him. Okay. That's the scene. Now go. Make up dialogue, seven-year-old. Now, young man, I understand that you have an alien somewhere in this house. Is that true? Well, is it true? Is there an alien in this house? Yes, sir. Well, as you know, I am from the government. I'm part of... United States government, and I am empowered to take that alien with me. But you can't take him away. He's mine. Well, but oh, the government God. is bigger than you are, Elliot. And I, I really, I have all the authority to take him, and i got to tell you, I'm going to take him. You can't take him? <gasps> oh. Well, I'm afraid I have to, son. You can't take him away, he's mine! You kike! <laughs> you fucking kike! I don't care what the president says, he's my best friend! Aww. And you can't take him away! Well, it's, it's real possible, Elliot, that, that he'll come back, and you can have him again. But we just want to talk to him and see where he came from, and, 
try to find out about other planets. And he, he probably is the key to a lot of things that we have to know. But how do I know you're going to bring him back? Well, I'm afraid son, I, I can't guarantee it. I think he's afraid of you. All right, we got it. So, yeah, that is very cute. Uh. The cobwebs on my womb just shook. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just bats. <laughs> that really, it really, it, it woke up. You think it woke up your barren? I days? mean, I made the joke. We got to do it again. <laughs> it's like the Titanic. No, I want to keep it going. From going from more. To yeah. There's, yeah, there's more. <laughs> she sat, she uncrosses started. her legs. It sounds like a haunted house door opening. <laughs> <It's going. laughs> It's like the spell that they said to wake up the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's mumbling Latin. Daddy me do the last get out of it. I'm in a vanda. Ade due demala. Give me the power, I beg of you. <laughs> Karen's like, I feel something. <laughs> it's just a light glowing from her pussy. <laughs> See, it was good. Let us improvise yeah. with it a little bit, Karen. Or the Indiana you Jones scene where they like reach in to like grab the heart or whatever. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go with uh, uh, when our faces melt oh. like the Nazis. <laughs> 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 Somebody lifts their clit, a boulder comes up. <laughs> 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 Wait, what's like the poltergeist where they slide the door over, like in that poltergeist movie, and all the kids that are stuck in hell? No. Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? The poltergeist movie. I am trying to watch poltergeist, but my son he refuses. That's scary. Yeah. We had a conversation about it in the car. Yeah, it's only well, rated PG. Yeah, is it's it? Sucky. Oh, he would not accept that from me. Yeah. He argued with me tooth and nail. Uh, real mom arguing skills on your kid Aww. yeah because i said no jane i was i'm telling you man it's pg i don't think so and i was like well it came out before pg-13 was a rating and he goes i don't think so <laughs> i was like no there wasn't there wasn't pg-13 then he's it was like PG and thematically R. i think it's beyond me and, I don't and he goes do it. he goes well then if it came out now it would be pg-13 <laughs> and i wouldn't be allowed to watch it what a good kid last night we watched ready player one I love that movie. It was great. I love it. Was it was actually I watched it a while ago and watched it with Best my kid. Best 3D again. movie ever in the theaters. I bet. I, I didn't see the 3D. I saw it on a plane the first time and then I watched it last night with my kid. And I wanted to watch it a while ago. I, he's just at the age now where he's old enough to, to understand the concept. Mm -hmm. um, and he loved it. But there was uh, a couple scary scenes. They like recreate the scene from The Shining. Yes. And like it fucked him up. He was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> like this, like he's like shaking his face in my chest, just like fucking horrified. Well, I hope you perpetuated the Gomez family tradition and laughed directly in yeah. my I face. Said, Watch it, <laughs> <laughs> just clockwork orange yep. his eyelids. I did, and yeah, we we really liked that movie. It was it was it was a very clever movie. Yeah, very fun. That's another Spielberg movie. Just, yeah. I, I feel like Steve Spielberg doesn't make movies anymore. He produces a lot of stuff. I think, what did he, he directed something like a year ago, didn't he? Or two years ago? Maybe. Something recent. But His he daughter's hasn't... porn? <laughs> yeah. His oh, daughter's in porn? That's right. Yep. Shut up. His adopted daughter? I think, or like half daughter. What's her name? Yeah. Pull it up. Something. I believe she's of African American descent or She something? is, yeah. And then she's got some piercings and she's done a little porn. I think she dropped out of it too. Like I think she since stopped oh, and really? said she may have regretted it. She's yeah. going mainstream now. She's yeah. like, come on dad, throw me a bone. Not yeah. that kind. Me, I mean, come on. He can't let her fucking PA on set and like pay her too much money. <laughs> Seriously. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hook the kid up with a job. Right. Well, that's the problem is like she doesn't need the money. He probably just. Right. Just, oh, you know. by the way, Chet Hanks' new banger dropped today. New is song? it good? White, White Boy Summer. I haven't listened to Oh, is that yet. what that is? That's what that is. is that, yeah. So he was previewing a song. Yeah. I like him. I'm a, I'm a Chet Hanks I fan. I DM him all the time. I'm that. like, we're yeah. supposed to be together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know for a fact. <laughs> Speak that patois into my pulse heart. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I'd love to hear White Boy Summer. We could end the show on White Boy Summer. Hell to be yeah. honest with you. This will be the saucy. saddest thing we've watched. Without <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we'll a shadow of a doubt. We all oh, cry. Tom must be proud. Proud. That's, yeah. that's Steven Spielberg's daughter? Yeah. She's real cute in that picture. She's cute. She's cute. Let's see no, her porn. Can we see her porn, porn please? I don't know. She made porn. I know uh, what's his name. His daughter made porn. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah and she used his name too. She sure did. My she daughter. Said, <laughs> her name was Morpheus Fishburne. That's hilarious. <laughs> Is that what her name was? No, no, but that'd be hilarious if she took his most iconic role yeah. and his last name. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck you." Funny. Fishburne <laughs> seems like it would be fitting enough. You gonna fucking reverse Cowboy Curtis? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I fucked Karen Fian. Did she give you fish burn? <laughs> Hell yeah. You starting with me? I'm starting with you. Don't start with me. What? What are you going to do? Stop th- I hate your veiled threats. You so- want me to unveil them? No. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Whoa, look, look at those fish. fucking Spielbergs. I was not expecting that. I was disappointed until she uh, pulled out those. What wow. She, what if she's like, E.T., phone home. Those are more Hindenburg <laughs> than Spielberg. <laughs> I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> But um, but um, let's see what else. Bum, 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 Does she bum. get fucked or is she you just? That, you're so bored. You hate the idea of a woman pleasuring herself. If well, I want to see this, I go to Karen's fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. You no, know, that girl's got titties. <laughs> I know that she has boobs. Can we see, can we see some penetration, please? Is there or is there not penetration? Penetration. Penetration. Who are you? That'd be funny if she was wearing like an ET costume. While getting fucked. Right, or she's like, I'm in a league sweet. of my own. <laughs> Isn't that a Spielberg movie? I don't know. No, I think know. it's a Gary Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. I think you could just name any famous movie at this point. What, <laughs> we'll all laugh as long as you do it with the right timing. <laughs> um, Let's see. Saving is, Private is there, Ryan? Does she? Yes. That, my, it just, that one just keeps coming up. I keep saying leaked porn. That's her blockbuster. Mm. That's the one that made her the most famous. Yeah, so that's not porn, though. That's like, that's like saying Karen does porn. That's not porn. Thank you. Okay, cool. So me and Spielberg daughter, same. Twins. Uh, okay. Well, fuck it. Let's watch the uh, White Boy Summer video before we wrap up. We got to wrap up here in just a few minutes. I know it's a little bit of a shorter show than normal. I apologize to everyone. Everyone's having a great time this morning watching the Real S podcast. Also, Friday, Zach, you might be doing it alone. I might have to get you a co-host. Okie dokie. Yeah. I want it to. I want I mean, Monday show we're going to have to do over Zoom over the weekend. Okay. But Friday, I was supposed to come in. It's what's her names? The gals, Natalie Cuomo and uh, Amanda, her friend. <laughs> what's the other girl's name? Amanda. She's hot. Yeah, Gail. Amanda Gail. Gail. I forgot her last name. Yeah, I knew that. I, I'm kidding, obviously, everyone. You're kidding about what? Forgetting her last name. Oh, okay, good, great. Yeah, they're on the network. No, 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 uh, no, no! Are you crazy? <laughs> Your fucking mind? No, they're coming on the Real S podcast Friday. Ah, uh, yeah, with Zach and a co-host. Awesome, <laughs> <laughs> Zach. Zach, heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my tap shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get, who are you? Who do you want as a co-host on that one? Colum, Figsy, one of these guys. Yeah, give me somebody, someone that you could have some fun with. All right, Colum, he'll bring his shillelagh. Shillelagh. Colum. All right, Shannon, let's watch White Boy Summer as we wrap up. Is it the music video that you want? Yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I love it. I got no problem with this guy. And do you want to close on it, or do you want to keep? We're gonna close up? on it. We're okay. gonna close. Do you on think it. Tom Thank will post watching. about it on his Instagram? <laughs> is is he better? Is he not proud? We we showed the difference between Tom Sons, because there's the other one who's an actor. Yeah, Col- he's like Colin. a dork. Yeah, Colin Hanks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he's a fucking. Orange County's he's, a good movie though. Underrated. He's a fucking dork. If I, I'm hanging out with Chet Hanks over Colin Hanks any day of the week, Colin, whatever his name is. Yeah, Chet Hanks looks like he's a good time. Chet Hanks. Looks I almost like... feel like he's trolling a little bit too. Like I think he's kind of good at this. He yeah. hangs out with way too many black people to not. To like be a joke, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, right. if you have that many actual friends, you kind of understand. And what they're you're not doing. hanging out with him because he's Tom Hanks' son. Like, there's <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Because yeah, he's so <laughs> fentanyl. Yeah. All right, so good. Love Boy that Summer. movie where he lives at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kami <call me> Wilson? <laughs> Yo, son, your dad's big? <laughs> Yo, his nigga's dad is big. What's that mermaid joint? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Shannon. Why your dad sound like that nigga from Toy Story? Take it, take it, fuck. Yeah. Fuck it. Turn it up the beat on my headphones. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. White boy song. Yes. I met a bad little shorty on the powder dance, getting to the bag like it was her only chance. Rich bitch. No one up up them bands. Said fuck it, then she went and made her only fans. Uh. White boy. White boy song. Got your favorite Instagram bitch DMing her number. 
Hit the strip club, I might thunder. Woo. She let me beat it, I'm a white boy wonder. Uh, bad gal, white dandada. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy, this is going to be playing on repeat in my car oh my God. the whole summer. A Russian girl named Svetlana. Why does he have a uh, Jamaican flag across his shoulders? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Put this head on their butt. I'm all about it, dude. This guy rules. He's the best. I love him. Ladies and gentlemen. He's a real ass dude. He's got a bad attitude. One might feel he's real. He's a real ass dude. Real ass dude of the week. White boy summer. Chet Hanks. I love it. It's not on Apple Music. What the fuck? We're going to get it somewhere, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's Real Ass Podcast. Zach will be back on Friday holding it down with a special guest co-host and uh, Natalie Cuomo and Amanda Gale. That should be a fun show. I'll be back on Monday. Tampa, Port St. Lucie, Boca Raton. Come the fuck out this weekend. We'll check you guys next week. Peace. That's all, folks. All right, guys, before we go, check out this clip from this great podcast called Quantum Week. It's a podcast where they take a random week and review the popular movies and music from that time. Check out the clip, and if you like them, please go subscribe anywhere you can download podcasts. Gangs of New York. Yeah. This is an excellent movie. It's going to hit my top five. Wow, yeah. So there is no movie I love more that I have more problems with, if that makes any sense. <laughs> All right, we'll have to go through. I, I think I'm overlooking some stuff just because it's so stunning and some of the performances are so fucking amazing. It's a great movie. Yeah. It's, uh, a, it's a great movie. It's, there's a, some, it's to my top, like, 35. There's some scenes here where I'm like, this is just master cinematography. Oh. Like, just some and amazing... Direction. And it's direction. Really, it's really yeah. more direction than cinematography, I think, but... there's It's both. In fact, I, I was like, did this not... This got nominated for... Well, famously, uh, got nominated 10 times. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I mean... But this got nominated for, a cinematogra- for yes, cinematography, yes. too, and I was like, oh, what else beat this out? And of course, it's Road to Perdition. I'm like, okay, that's fine. All's right in the world. But beyond yes. that, there's not much else that was better that year in terms of cinematography. Oh, that was better. I think it's more of a directing feat than a cinematography feat in this case, especially with Scorsese directing. 